I'm with Ronaldo Negron of Lockheed Martin to talk about time-based flow management in the United States. Hi, yes, welcome. Uh, so we've been expanding tremendously our capabilities for time-based flow management throughout the national airspace. Um, earlier this year and late last year, we've had two major enhancements that's been gone out, uh, improving uh, the West Coast and will eventually come out to the East Coast of the national airspace. The first is um, extended metering and uh, GIMS. So extended metering takes the uh, airport metering that we've been doing so well for so long and extends that further into the on-route airspace, um, providing controllers a longer horizon to manage delays. Um, and how, how far out is that horizon? Uh, it, it's adaptable, but uh, we've seen it gone out as much as 400 to 500 nautical miles. It's a substantial range, uh, much further out than just the terminal area. Uh, as, as part of that, right, we've compared that with something called ground-based interval management, which is the ability to take um, ADSB information and uh, go ahead and calculate a speed recommendation for those delays. And something that we provide a controller as kind of an added decision support capability while they're in metering or doing this delay management as well. So they have a easier or at least a, a helpful way to kind of go ahead and manage some of those delays. And so in summary, the uh, benefits for airspace users are? Uh, so the benefits that you'll see is, uh, one, it's a key for kind of optimal descents, right, getting ready for, uh, for those kind of uh, management and, and uh, kind of metering further out enables those, uh, those uh, optimal descents to start being used, as well as the uh, capabilities uh, kind of help with workload as well as um, better separating aircraft when you have better tools at hand such as speed as well as altitude recommendations. Thank you very much.